bathtub. Mm -hmm. And so, what is an escape hatch? So you guys basically. think about what's a, what is an escape hatch? An escape hatch. What do you use an escape hatch for? So, what do you think an escape hatch is in terms of manifestation? Well, I mean, let's talk about what an escape hatch actually is. Yeah. If you're in a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a if you're in a spaceship, if you're in an airplane, if you're in a boat, if you're in a, if you have a house and you're really afraid of the second coming, you're in a bombing bunker. You've got yeah, right. Like it's maybe like the Cold War, and you think we're about to all get bombed, or you're a survivalist, you're a doomsday a, prepper, a panic room. You might have an escape hatch. You might have a a door somewhere in your in your ship or in your home where you, when you go through that door, you're escaping wherever you are. And so what does that have to do with manifestation? Well, it, you want to tell? Yeah, it's, it's um, when manifestation is basically a, it's the universe reverter, reverberating back to you in form your energy of faith. So what does that mean? It's basically manifestation is when your vibration is at such a high faithful level that it becomes form, that it starts showing up in your life as people, places, things, opportunity, etc. So in terms of manifestation, an escape hatch is basically, it's, it's when you provide yourself a back door because you're not all 100% in in your belief that it's going to happen. Or so you're like, I want this to happen. Or what about this or this or this or this? It this starts or... to happen, and the inertia or the momentum or the expectations that come along with it are too scary, and you you so, go out the escape hatch, go out sabotage. the back door, and you sat you self sabotage. Who's big?